Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be using Omniverse Audio to Face to generate some mouth movements or mouth facial animation. And then what we're gonna do is combine that animation with iClone so that we have a full facial animation. So with that being said, big shout out to Enoch and Miranda for showing me this way right here. Cause I know it was possible before because the iClone connector came out like a couple of months back. So what you're gonna need for this to work is the Python script right here. So go ahead and download that and put it anywhere in your computer. Uh, additionally, I didn't get the USD sample. I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing anyway. Make sure you have audio to face 3.0 iClone 792 3.3 character creator. Let's go back to the audio to face. So what we're gonna do right here is just go to our Omniverse local host. If you don't know how to install this, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty easy. But basically it is NVIDIA's uh, website or URL that you can download assets from. So I'm gonna go to NVIDIA, assets, characters, relusion, audio to face, Viking, and I'm gonna click this last one right here. And I'm just gonna open an original, then don't save. And that's pretty much gonna open up the template that's already ready. So if I press play right here, the beige hue on the water is already ready to go. And if I want to, you know, use another, if I want to use another file, just click down here. Or if you have your own, just click on the folder and then uh, just find that audio file of yours. So for this tutorial, so you can follow along, I'll use this one. From here, all we have to do is go to A2F data conversion. We're going to look at the input and a mesh is going to be the result. And then we're going to go with the body. Okay. And then we're gonna set up the blend shape, which is pretty sick. Additionally, you don't have to mess around with this. If you're gonna use the Illusion preset, you're gonna see in this folder right here, they already have one. So load preset right here. And then we're gonna go back to Omniverse, localhost, NVIDIA, assets, characters, Illusion, audio to face, Viking, blend shape, and then lower jaw or lower facial, right? Because so, it doesn't have the full, you don't have eyes and stuff in audio to face. It's just a lower part. So go ahead and load it. Awesome, and then what we're gonna do is choose a folder where I wanna save this. I'll just put it in my desktop, press okay, and then we will name this tutorial Jason Sin, <laughs> Jason Sin, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is go here, untick this, go to the body and just kind of unhide that because what I wanna do is I wanna move that just to make sure that it works. So I'm gonna press on W, which is already set actually. It's gonna go right here because there's actually two of them right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move around, W, whatever. So that one's good. And then I'm gonna select the body right now. And then I'm just gonna go to export as Jason. Jason. And then it's okay, everything's good to go. This is gonna wait a couple of seconds to make sure it's, yeah, so it's working because I'm seeing both of them moving instead of just one. Okay, awesome, that's finished now. So we're gonna go to Character Creator 3, which I have the default character right here, which by the way, Relusion. I think it's time to retire this character. Maybe we can get a new face in here. She's done a lot of work already for us. So I put some clothes on her and made sure that she is in a CC3 plus. So I'm gonna click and then go to this pair right here and go to, to this head plus icon and then just double click this and apply. So that's good. Go to file, export iClone. I already have iClone open right here, ready. So it's already loading that stream. You don't have to do anything. It's just one click transfer. I have her in a T pose. And as you can see right here, I have it in quick mode so that we can kind of get a little bit faster. So uh, if you want to see a little bit more detail, you can change this. But whenever I work, I work in quick mode. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is select a character in iClone right here. Go to script, load Python, and then look for that file that you downloaded from this web page. For us, I just pasted it in some random plugin folder. I'm gonna double click that. And then I'm gonna say apply auto to face facial animation. And I think we, we titled it tutorial Jasonson. So that's good to go. And in the sound as well, I'm gonna apply sound. If I go back to the audio to face, I'm gonna go back to audio to face right here. We can actually find that link, control C this, go to iClone, control paste this, press enter. And then I think it was called P3 neutral. So open that. And then if I press play now, the beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen. Perfect, right? So I'm gonna apply that, whatever. You can you can tweak it if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and expose this. So if I click on the character again, and go right here, let's go to expressions. Oh, I don't think I clicked it, sorry. Expressions right here. Now you're gonna see that clip from audio to face. So what I'm going to do now is actually turn on Live Link on my iPhone app, the Live Face. And what I'm gonna do is animate the eyeballs, eyebrows, pretty much all the upper part that audio to face did not do. So let me get my phone real quick and I'm gonna set up the recording there as well so you can see my ugly face.
Okay, so I have Live Face here, and I'm gonna turn on the plugins, Motion Live, Motion Live right here. And I'm just gonna copy that IP that you see on my screen there on my iPhone 12 mini, so it's 192.13. Press this button right here, it's connected as you can see, and I'm gonna turn this on right here, so as you can see, it's good to go. And I'm gonna remove the, uh, the timeline because that actually decreases your FPS. So I'm gonna hide that, and we should be good here if I press play. Yeah, we went up to 58, so we should be getting at least 60 frames per second here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the mouth right here because we already have that from audio to face. We don't want to pretty much ruin that, right? So, so I'm going to remove that as well. We just want the eye, the blinks, and all that stuff. I'm going to turn off the auto blink because I want to blink my own. And then you can either do new or blend or replace. I'm going to go with blend for now just so that we're good to go, just in case this thing had any prior animations or anything like that. So let's do a preview or pre press this right here, space bar. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Pretty crazy. All right, so I didn't really record any of that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm gonna have my iPhone and I'm going to try and pretend like I'm actually talking. Now I do have some head movements in here as well, but usually I would use the neck movement from my motion capture suit. But if you don't have a motion capture suit, well, I guess you can see that it works as well. Without one, you can just move your head using the iPhone app right here. So let's go ahead and record a take. Record, press space. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again just as young Arthur wanted. Okay, obviously I exaggerated a poop ton of those emotions, but I just really wanted to showcase to see how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna disconnect that. Let's bring back our timeline and I'm gonna rewind this and let me go ahead and turn off my live face here. We don't need this anymore. I'm gonna rewind and I'm gonna press play. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, <laughs> before she heard that symphony again just as young Arthur wanted. <laughs> Very ridiculous. That is way too much. That is like over the top facial animation, but I really just wanted to show you how that works. And that is pretty darn crazy. Okay, and the next step, you probably guessed it. We're gonna take this uh, facial animation and bring it to Unreal Engine to be used in a MetaHuman. Now to do this, you're gonna have to go download a MetaHuman toolkit. So I'm gonna go right here, go to the main page of the MetaHuman, in relusion.com, scroll down. You're going to go with get tools. Now you can get the free, but I do have a relusion account. So I just went right here, redeem for iClone MetaHuman Live Link Kit, and I downloaded that here. All you have to do here is extract this file in your folder. Look at this, it's all clean because I cleaned up my computer. So I was running out of space. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my Alley project, which is my. Unreal Engine project. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna replace a couple of facial anim BPs that you're gonna need to get iClone working with Unreal Engine. Now, I already did this prior because that would take forever as far as loading up the Unreal Engine. But all you have to do is copy this into your folder, your project folder like so right here, and you are good to go. So let's hop in to Unreal Engine now. I have the scene already ready right here, so you can see. And then the face anim BP, I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. All you have to do is make sure that you do add this live link post. If it's not added yet, go ahead and add that live link post right there. And we're gonna change this. It says iPhone right now, but we're actually gonna be doing live link instead. Now, if you don't, if you're lost and it's still not working, I will leave the tutorial video that Relusion created, which is pretty nice and short and sweet on how to get this done. It's really simple. You just copy and paste it and add this. It should work out of the box. I'm gonna close this now. And if you don't know where to find that, click on your meta human, go to the face and go over here, see Adam class, click this little icon and that's gonna take you to this folder right here. Okay, so this is set up. We're gonna go ahead and turn on some plugins. Rig Logic, make sure that's on. We got Rig Logic plugins already on, and we gotta make sure we also have Live Link enabled, which we do. iClone Live Link's already good to go. Minimize that. We see the iClone Live Link right here, so that is good. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is go to Windows. I'm gonna go to Live Link, which I already have selected. It's probably right here. Yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Press OK, and then I'm gonna go back to my iClone. And let's go ahead and turn off my Character Creator three because you know I'm running out of resource here. I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna rewind this, 
Okay, and then we're gonna go to plugins, Unreal Live Link. So go ahead, plugins, Unreal Live Link. Unreal Live Link, it's right here. It was already open. I don't know why I turned it off. We're gonna go to link, turn off everything, turn off the camera, and just a character is really what I want. It's called CC3 Base Plus. I'm gonna activate this link. I'm gonna go back to Unreal. I'm gonna close this right here. Now what I'm gonna do is go to this root. Right here, you're gonna see that the live link face subject, there is a CC3 base plus in there now. So if I simulate this, okay, so we're simulating that now, we have the live link plugged in right here, ready to roll. So if I play now my iClone. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Just like that. Crazy. Awesome stuff. Now, I know that this is working. I got it all set up. Now I'm gonna go to my actual alley scene. So I'm gonna go here. I think it's called Downtown Alley. I'm gonna go to Maps and Downtown Alley 1. I'm not gonna save anything because it should be good to go. All right, so here's our character now. I'm gonna go Unlit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is do the same thing. Make sure we got the face plugged in. Face and BP is good. Look for that file. Shouldn't have changed. We should have that live link post and we should be able to see CC3 base plus there. I mean, I can do it here or do it outside. It doesn't really matter. If I go to root right here, click on this, CC base plus three. And then let's go ahead and give it a test shot. I'm gonna go to simulate. Now I usually do this on an empty level because, you know, just in case you don't have a high speed uh, computer I can use, I usually record in an empty level and then bring the animation to my scene. But in this case, I think we can, we can make this happen. So I'll press play. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Perfect, right? Just like that. And to record this, all we have to do is grab a take recorder. So take recorder right here. If you don't know how to turn that on, go to plugins and we'll go take Recorder right there, it's good to go. And then we're just gonna click on source from actor, add BP. Turn off reduce keys, that right there sometimes causes some problems, that's okay. I mean, I don't have to record a torso, legs and feet, I guess, I'll turn that off. Scroll down, animation is good. All right, so that should be good. And then I'm gonna press the red key here, three, two, one, and we should still be uh, animating here. So if I press play on the iClone now, the beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Press stop, and then press stop on the iClone. Now this is gonna create a new recording, all right? And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new cinematics, okay? I'm just gonna add tutorial here, tutorial. I'm gonna add Phoenix here, Agent Phoenix. Okay, so that's good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is make sure that we're stop simulating right here. This is gonna go ahead and go away and then I'm gonna create a light so we can kind of brighten the scene up a little bit. Rotate it around and get it closer, like so. Just like that. And remember, we're having an eyelash, eyeshadow problem. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Go to face, skeletal mesh, scroll all the way down. I made a tutorial about this earlier. Go ahead and go to the sections, scroll down. If you go to eyelash lower LOD instance, turn that off and that's gonna fix the eyeshadow eyelash problems. Additionally, if you're having problems with a lacrimal fluid in the eyes, you can decrease or you turn that off as well. Minimize and now we are good to go. I'm going to delete the face rig, the control rig. I'm gonna go to track animation, and now we have this BP scene 106. If I click on that and press play. And that is our recorded audio from audio to face and iClone combined. Isn't that super cool? That is, that is so cool. I know it's a lot of steps, right? But I was just messing around with this because I always get the questions and people always ask me, hey, what if I can't afford a facial mocap? 
or stuff like that. Audio to phase is free. I mean, for iClone, you have to pay for, but let me just tell you something. And I've told Enoch this, I've uninstalled iClone so many times, but the animation tools, they just keep coming out with all these crazy, amazing, innovative, innovative stuff that is making me come back to iClone so that I can use it again. It's just like I can't get rid of them. They're just so good at being innovative and coming up with things like this. Uh, you know, like Onreverse just came out and then they already have a connector for it. So I feel like iClone is probably going to stay on my computer for a while because of things like this. And I am glad to share this information with you all. And if you learned something new today or not at all, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.